Tune your ears to the grinding gears. Steam Bug Yu Gi Oh! here. Alright, so um, with the High Speed Raiders uh, pack on the horizon, I've been trying out different builds of Psy Frames. Note, this one is not playing Noden, which I will look into. Um, Psyhemoth and whatnot seems like they would be really fun. Can I even, Yeah, I can make Psyhemoth. Anyway, this is the build I'm currently testing out. Um, right now, it's not very controlly. I'd like to add more control aspects, but right now, um, it's just hand traps and draw cards. So I've got two of the driver. I really want to play three, but uh, I just can't. <laughs> uh, two Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Of course, I want to play three of this as well because of uh, Psychic Feel Zone. Um, three Deltas, uh, negates spell cards. Um, three Gammas, negates monster effects. Um, three Betas, negates attacks. And three Alphas, um, when a monster is summoned, I can special it and tutor a card. A Cyframe monster? Cyframe card. And then, of course, two card cardies because it's decent in the deck. Uh, it's decent at two, and since I play all these other draw cards, you know, I might as well leave it at two. Um, so I play three Psychic Field Zone. Uh, it's pretty much just instant synchro from your exile or your banish pile uh, into any Psychic Monster. Now you can cheat this if you ha if you banish a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit and a Cyframe Driver, and you can go into Overmind Archfiend, um, which is absolutely amazing in this deck. Uh, just because you're able to get back, like, um, drivers and etc. Uh, in case they kill it. So it's kind of a contingency monster. And it's pretty big, so uh, I enjoy it. I, I want to play three Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbits because I'm playing three Psychic Field Zone. Uh, so I can go into uh, Double over on, Overmind Archfiend if they kill one. I can banish uh, one with one on the field, so I can just loop them uh, indefinitely until they like decide to banish an overmind or whatever, if I just forget to target it. So that would be a cool little thing, um, in addition to being able to make uh, basically one card Omegas or uh, Zeta or whatever the other one's name is, um, yeah, Zeta and Omega. Uh, two terraforming, don't like three because two to three, two terraforming, three field spell is pretty uh, decent enough with all the draw cards that I have. Um, Cyframe circuit is at three, of course. I play one psychic path. I'm testing this out as well uh, because I play uh, tr different things that get them banished, and of course they banish themselves if I don't have the field spell. And, you know, I want to negate something. So this just, you know, helps me not go to minus if I just want to negate something and I don't have the field spell. I thought about playing more of this, but one's working out just fine. Uh, three duality might drop it down to two, but digging for the field spell first turn is, you know, imperative. So three duality for now. And three e -tellies. Uh... Honestly, I'm not 100% sure even about Itali. I kind of don't like it. Um, I haven't really played it at all, so I'll probably drop it. Um, three Psychic Triggers. Uh, ex or banish two Psychic-type monsters if your life points are lower than your opponent's. Draw two cards. So I like drawing cards. That's just who I am. I only play two of the Psyframe uh, Overload. It is a really good card. But I'd probably side a third along with the one that negates traps, so yeah, only two for game one. Uh, and then I'm testing out two Bright Future. It's uh, put to banish Psychic-type monsters. Um, 
return those targets to the graveyard and draw one card. So we have Trigger that banishes two to draw two, and then we have Bright Future which puts them back to draw one. Now I'd uh, I'd rather have Trigger over this, but because they banish themselves, if I don't have the field spell, this just you know gives me a another card and puts the driver back in my graveyard. So it's been it's been testing pretty well. The extra deck is pretty standard: Ancient Sacred Waver and Black Rose Moonlight. I'm playing three Zeta because I play three uh, Field Zone. Um, I'm playing. I'm testing out a DSF because uh, you know may, uh, clearing your field is pretty important in this deck. I know Over My Archfiend Loop or Over My Archfiend in general won't clear your field, but I think that uh, Overmind is a pretty big body and a threat, so they'll have to answer it immediately. So, mm, I don't know, I just like uh, the synergy of Feels on an Overmind. Um, we got Michael, of course, Spark Dragon, uh, Thought Ruler, because of Feel Zone, you know, why not? Um, three Omega, one Hot Red, and of course, one Overmind. I also considered uh, Telepathic Power Well, um, but I, I'm just not playing that many level 2 or lower non tuners. So, eh. I mean, it could work out during my turn, but I'm not going to push it. So let's get on to some games. I have two ready, I believe. So I will admit that I have no idea what I'm doing with this deck. Um, <laughs> so let's see how many times I screw up. So I just pass because there's nothing for me to really do. Um, he goes first, sets up a Mermilla. I could have negated it, I believe. No, I could have destroyed the uh, monster either way, but I didn't want to. I wanted to bait him out for more things. So I do this, uh, kill his monster, he summons Zombie Master. Now I get my card, uh, Field Zone, make a Zeta. Um, he bottomlesses it, and I'm like, ugh, the tears. They are too real. So you text the Zombie Master, I kill it with this dude again. Uh, summons Mizuki, passes, my dudes get banished, that makes me so sad. And I'm just like, car card D, let's see what happens. Draw into my draw card, so I'm kind of happy to see Bright Future and Trigger, which means I kind of net three cards off just floating around two cards in my banished pile. Uh, so, yeah, plus one. Um, so he's like, he MST's Bright Future, which I'm happy about because I couldn't have activated Trigger, but he MST's Trigger, well, Galaxy Cyclone's Trigger. So I'm like, okay, I'm able to, you know, do both. So that's cool. And I drew into two essentially field spells, but he does have two galaxy cyclones, so that kind of worries me. Um, I duality into a car card D. No, Ghost Ogre. I activate my field spell, set to terraforming and the field zone. No, terraforming and path. He goes X Ton, and I negate it. Now I could have galaxy cycled my field spell, which I'm pretty sure he would have done, and none of this would have happened. But anyway. So he went Zombie Master's Effect, and I'm like, Ghost Ogre, kill that shit. And he's like, nah, I'm gonna kill my own shit. And I'm like, alright, dude, you got it. So he goes Zombie World, I kill the Zombie World, because I don't know how bad it will affect my deck. Uh, he regekis my dudes, and he... Mizuki's back as Pyramid Turtle, summons the Bone thing, uh, sets a Zoma. I terraform him from my field spell, knowing that he has the third uh, Galaxy Cyclone, so I'm okay with this. Uh... I don't know why I'm okay with this, but I am. So I use Psychic Path, get back my dudes. He chains Zoma, knows me for some more stuffs. Uh, but I go so here is dude, so it dies, but I still get milled. Um, so I'm just kind of keep. I, I just want to keep Omega in his uh, Book of Life, and I ended up uh, getting Omega's effect to get Zeta in the graveyard, so I can recur a field spell. Um, because he, of course, banished it, or banished Galaxy Cyclone to destroy it, so I'm able to get back to Field Spell. Doesn't have any more MST, so now I can banish my Omega, banish his Book of Life, um, but his Molten Zombie dies to this guy, make another Zeta. <laughs> I really have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, get back my Omega, attack for them damage. Uh, banish his book of life because I don't want him to have it. Totes draws into Endos Decay, so he has to scoop. Um, so yeah, 
this was my uh, second or third duel with the deck. This is it's a really fun deck. Uh, the draw cards have so much good synergy with everything. So it's gonna. Okay, in this game, I opened pretty decent, I suppose. But I'm playing against Red Eyes uh, with apparently the hands. So I terraform or duality for terraforming, terraforming for field spell, field spell set bright future card card D. Drawn to two triggers, so that kind of sucks. Um, he's going to get in some damage with his uh, Blackstone of Legend. Ooh, that damage. Drawn to the normal special summon searcher dude. I do already for card card D, which is always good. Um, set my two triggers. Drawn to Ghost Ogre and the uh, effect negating one. So I'm good with this. Uh, he special summoned the dude, so I special summon my dude. But he's like, bottomless, your driver. And I'm like, well, in response, tears... And then I blow up his uh, red eyes, dude. Go for moonlight. Moonlight bounces that big dude. He uses his black stones effect, sits the fire hand, and passes. Now, like a moron, I totally run into this fire hand after doing my favorite thing ever, drawing cards. Um, I believe if I had more like more traps, I'd be I'd be set. Um, so I take into his fire hand. His fire hand, ooh, kills my moonlight, and I pass. So he draws into his summon skull, summons the redstone, activates his effect, but gets negated, boy. And then I synchro into Omega. Omega's effect, take away his red eyes, dude. Um, blow up his ice hand. His other fire hand is in his hand, so he can't resolve his other ice hand. I use a trigger, draw more cards, because that's what I like to do. Um, Omega comes back. I use field zone to make another Omega. Uh, I attack for some massive damage, take two cards out of his hand this time. Oddly enough, the same red eyes do, but he draws into unplayable cards, and then I ban or uh, yeah, I banish his dude with the trap card, and then I'm just like, all right, your board's clear. I'm gonna kill you now. So, in my experiences with this deck, it's a lot of fun, but I think I need to put in more like controlling aspects, like trap cards, maybe mirror force, bottomless torrential, not torrential. Uh, Eh, maybe. Warning, mirror for, uh, Storm Mirror Force even. But yes, um, I can't wait for this deck to come out so I can start tinkering with it IRL, uh, but I will keep up the dev pro work on it. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for it, if you guys have thought any uh, thought of any cool ideas that are like different from my own. I'll leave them in the comments or in a message. I will see you guys later.